Okay, I think we're two minutes past our scheduled start time, so uh, we can go ahead and get started. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is uh, Munir Kazmi. I am a Customer Success Director at Salesforce, been part of the Salesforce ecosystem since, I would say, 2009. Uh, I was a customer before working for a health and life sciences company uh, here in Boston. I'm based out of Boston, uh, Massachusetts. Uh, and then with me, I've got uh, some amazing uh, uh, panelists in uh, Maham Hassan, Bharat Umadi, and Inamullah Khan. So we're all glad to be here uh, spending some quality time with you. Okay. Let me just go ahead and start. Um, before we kick off, I just want to thank our sponsors. You may have seen this uh, before uh, if you've been attending some of our sessions earlier today, Orto, Media Butler, Media Monks, and uh, Gridmate, uh, some of our uh, sponsors for this event, and obviously, thanks to the amazing Trailblazer community from Salesforce. And uh, also, we'd like to thank you. Thank you for your time uh, today, for spending your Saturday morning, evening uh, with us. Um, I know uh, it's a tough decision with uh, everything else going on and uh, with the weekend, it's not always easy to, you know, take time away and uh, attend some of these conferences, but uh, we're glad that uh, you made time to be available today. So thank you again for being here. <clears throat> so today I'm going to talk about, you know, what are trailblazers and uh, along with my participants, what are trailblazers as well as how you can you know, advance your career in the Salesforce ecosystem. Like I said, uh, I've been part of the Salesforce ecosystem since uh, 2009 as a customer before, and now part of Salesforce itself, been with Salesforce since uh, 2013, so about uh, nine years now, and I'm part of the customer success organization. But let's talk about what are trailblazers. And there are 15 million of those across the globe. Uh, as you call trailblazers, and what essentially are those uh, individuals? Why do we call them trailblazers? <coughs> Excuse me. These are trailblazers because they've created a trail for themselves by being a pioneer, being an uh, innovator. Uh, they like to learn uh, every time. They never stop learning. They're lifelong learners, and they like to move and shake things, uh, whether they are in their professional uh, world or their personal world, right? Uh, they are also a leader. They like to create a trail, a path for others to follow, right? Uh, so we uh, people look up to them in terms of where the next uh, innovation might be coming from. And more importantly, uh, they're a person who like to give back, right? Uh, being able to create a world that's uh, better than they found. Uh, it before, right? And once again, like uh, Akhilesh said in the chat here, I'm looking at it, they are a multiplier, right? Creating that multiplier effect. So those are some of our trailblazers uh, that are across the globe. Like I said, there are 15 million of those. And why do we have those trailblazers, right? Because these trailblazers are essentially fueling the Salesforce economy. And what we mean by that is a study that was done by an independent research firm here in the US, IDC, uh, back uh, in 2021, uh, uh, resulted in some of interesting uh, uh, results, right? In terms of, you know, the number of jobs that are going to be created as part of this ecosystem. As you can see, 9.3 million new jobs uh, by 2026 <clears throat> across the globe. It is also going to create a global economic impact of more than $1.6 trillion by the same year, right, by 2026. And uh, what this means is it's fueling, it's creating these amazing careers for people who have been exposed to Salesforce or who have not, right? People who've worked in the ecosystem or who have not. They are building their new skills and we'll talk about those in a minute. Uh, there are certainly a number of resources available for you to be able to, you know, build your skill set and create a trail, create a path or a career for you, yourself uh, in this amazing ecosystem that continues to grow, that has grown over the years. And as you can see by these numbers, it's expected to grow over the course of the next few years. Okay. Um, 
so what does uh, Trailblazer once again mean? Uh, right, it means that you are learning in-demand skills, skills that are looked at by uh, employers on your resume. Right, uh, you are continuously working uh, towards building those skills. You're lifelong learner, as I mentioned earlier, and you can connecting with a global community, a community that is available 24/7 on our Salesforce Trailblazer community, which we'll talk about in a minute as well. And you are not only you know, learning, but you are also sharing that wealth of knowledge and supporting others and giving back to the community. And at the same time, you are creating uh, growth and opportunity for yourself and for the platform, right? By coming out with uh, different uh, app exchange packages, innovations on the app exchange from launching a business to launching a new app uh, so th this certainly you know fuels that growth and opportunity that we talked about earlier okay and also over the last few years we've seen you know because of the pandemic what this has caused is uh, some people are calling it the great resignation some people are calling it the reskilling revolution because you know uh, a lot of folks that were, uh, you know, on the cusp of looking at technology or not necessarily happy with where they were in terms of their career, they started looking at different uh, opportunities, different options for themselves. So what we'd like to call is the global reskilling uh, revolution. And what this does is allows you or enables you to uh, you know, hone your skills for the jobs of tomorrow, right? If you think about it, you know, 15, 20 years ago, there was not necessarily a job for an iOS developer, right? There were no mobile phone apps back then uh, that you would have an ecosystem for. Now, you know, with the Salesforce ecosystem, with Trailhead, uh, there is certainly an ecosystem out there which allows you to increase your uh, uh, skills, right? Uh, and make them marketable to uh, different employ employers across the globe. And what we've seen based on, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the uh, different uh, study that we did, it has caused a 50% increase in demand for employees with digital skills. It has also created over 130 million jobs, right? to meet the demands of digital transformation. Because over the last uh, two and a half, three years that we've been in this pandemic, companies have uh, turned around. Companies have made a switch towards, you know, how they are selling, marketing, supporting uh, their customers. So this digital transformation has been going on for some time now. And this ecosystem allows you to create those skills, to hone your skills uh, for this uh, transformation. And by 2030, we estimate 1 billion plus workers will need to uh, reskill, right? So the kind of skills you have today, uh, you may not necessarily be able to utilize them come 2030. So you may have to, you know, redevelop some of your skill sets. And for that reason, we have, uh, you know, the ecosystem as well as Trailhead, which we'll talk about in a second. So how can you be a trailblazer in the Salesforce ecosystem? One is through Trailhead. And if you haven't heard about Trailhead, it's our free learning platform, right? Uh, <coughs> excuse me. What this means is it's number one, community driven, right? You have uh, those 15 million trailblazers that I showed you that we have globally, uh, you, you have access to them as part of the trailblazer community. Right, so it drives that community learning, uh, being able to be foster and uh, promoting change through that community. It also uh, is available uh, on your mobile devices, right? So if you are commuting, if you are not necessarily, uh, you know, in front of your laptop, you can certainly uh, pull up uh, Trailhead on your mobile device and continue your learning. Okay. And it is also gamified. These days we know um, everything is all about, you know, uh, gamification, how you can score more points, how you can get on top of the leaderboard, uh, things like that. So what Trailhead allows you to do is collect those points, those badges, and see how you uh, stack against some of your peers, 
uh, that you might be working with. So, you know, helps drive not only that learning, but that competitive uh, spirit uh, when you're learning together. And uh, it's focused on experience as well, right? So we have different modules or different trails or different tracks uh, based on your skill set, whether you are a business analyst, a developer, an admin, a user, so on and so forth. So it's focused on, you know, your role, your experience, the product that you might be interested in uh, learning, right? So, so that's what Trailhead is all about. Uh, and it, once again, it allows you to scale up for the future on uh, those uh, in-demand skills on resume-worthy credentials. It is certainly something that you can put on your resume uh, in terms of how many trails or how many badges you may have accumulated on Trailhead. And once again, you know, uh, it allows you to connect to a global community right? Uh, those 15 million trailblazers across the globe, you have access to them and learn from each other as well. And they are also growing their careers, right, with Trailhead. Uh, what we found based on, uh, once again, a, a study we did back in August 2020, uh, folks who had uh, leveraged Trailhead one third of them found a new job or made a career change based on their uh, based on the skills that they honed or learned leveraging Trailhead. 50% of them received a promotion or raise. And two thirds were more productive because just because of some of the skills that they were able to learn uh, leveraging Trailhead. Uh, one example here is Zach Otero, an analytics admin. Uh, he wasn't really part of the Salesforce ecosystem un up until a few years ago. Uh, he heard about Salesforce uh, through the great point, through some of his uh, network, and he jumped right into it. And uh, once he started learning, there was no stopping him, right? Uh, he was able to accumulate a number of points, number of badges, build his skill set, and be able to market himself to an employer that was completely out of his industry, so completely something that he had not done before, and was able to quickly land a job there, and he's been really successful uh, while there. Okay. And all those things he was able to accomplish or majority of those things that he was able to accomplish were, uh, by his, uh, usage of trailhead and trailhead, uh, uh, skills span the Salesforce ecosystem, right? Uh, whether it's people, Salesforce and technologies, you have different trails for different, uh, uh, technologies or different uh, people skills that you might be looking to build whether it's you know around people building skills learning to present or storytelling and communication just just a few that are listed out over here even on the salesforce side you know there as you're probably aware we have got multiple different clouds multiple different features and products so you can certainly you know learn about a specific feature a specific cap capability or a specific cloud by leveraging trailhead and then, <coughs> excuse me, also technologies. These days, everyone's talking about digital transformation or AI or process automation. Uh, those are some of the things that you can learn about just by leveraging Trailhead. Okay. Uh, and then once you get onto Trailhead, and if I haven't shared it already, uh, I'll, uh, and if you're not aware as to how to get to Trailhead, it is trailhead.salesforce.com. You can go there, you can get a free account. Like I said, it's our free learning software. You can just set up an account like you would, you know, create a free account on Gmail or Yahoo, right? Uh, set up a free account, um, get a Trailhead Playground where you would be able to, you know, kind of a sandbox. You'll be able to develop and play in your own environment and you'll be able to learn by doing. Once again, you know, uh, if you're a lifelong learner, you experiment, you play around, uh, with uh, what you're looking to do uh, with the different technologies and then be able to, you know, uh, enhance it and deliver it uh, to whoever needs to see it, right, just by leveraging Trailhead. And then these are uh, skills uh, that are globally recognized, credentials that are globally recognized. As I mentioned uh, when I, on my one of my earlier slides, these are skills you can put on your resume as well. So we have super badges as well which are a little bit more complex uh for some of the advanced learners you can certainly uh you know dabble into that and uh, 
get those super badges and once again highlight them on your resume during your interview process telling them how you solve for a specific challenge and then you can also be certified based on the role that you're interested in whether it's an administrator an analyst a consultant right all those things you can accomplish uh, and uh, build up your skill sets by leveraging uh, trailing and then certifications also build expertise and impact, right? Uh, what we've seen from, once again, this study by IDC that was done last year is uh, certified prof uh, professionals uh, have 5.5x uh, impact when it comes to influence. They are certainly more productive or 90% more productive, and they are more impactful, 35% more impactful. Uh, in their organization. So once again, if you're looking to make that impact more, uh, be more productive, uh, carry that influence and weight within your organizations, uh, certifications through Trailhead, some of those badges that we talked about at Trailhead is uh, one of the ways to accomplish that. Okay. Uh, you can create your trailblazer.me profile um, uh, on Trailhead as well. Just once again, highlighting what you're all about your experiences, the different trails that you've taken. Uh, you can get a vanity URL so that you can leverage and share with your prospective uh, employees, uh, employers, right? Uh, when you're a part of the interview process, you can share that vanity URL to uh, have them take a look at some of the on uh, Trailhead and what your skill sets uh, might be. And, and then uh, let's talk about the Trailblazer community. Once again, as I mentioned, there are millions and millions of trailblazers across the globe. And to get access to them, you, you have to go to the trailblazer community, which is, I believe, uh, community.salesforce.com. And uh, over there, you will have access to different groups, uh, different folks from uh, across the globe, and you can learn relevant skills from them, right? You can learn from each other, you can connect and network with these different trailblazers based on you know, your interests, your role, or they might be based in the same region as yourself, right? There are meetup groups in different areas at different times of the year. So you can certainly uh, meet up and network with them if they're in the same uh, local uh, user group. And uh, you're able to give back to the community, right? Not just learning and networking with each other, but being able to give back to some of the causes that you might be passionate about. I'll just try to wrap it up quickly. I know we've got uh, uh, to hear from some of the other folks as well. Uh, just real quickly, I want to uh, point out that, you know, anyone can succeed with Salesforce. Whether you're a career starter like Aaron over here, he joined from the military, uh, the US military, and he did not have any technology background, right? So he, uh, he was able to quickly uh, learn new skills, build up his skill set, leveraging Trailhead and land a job at uh, one of our premier uh, consulting partners, Slalom. Uh, San Sandy was once again able to uh, hone her skills in terms of solution uh, architect, right? She re-entered the workforce from being a music teacher to an architect, right? Once again, leveraging all the resources that she had access to between the Trailblazer community and the Trailhead. And Zach Otero, uh, he was uh, a factory worker, and once again, he made a career switch uh, by going to uh, Trailhead and learning all about analytics. Okay, and once again, if you are not sure where to start, I would suggest going to trailblazers.salesforce.com, and that's where you can build your journey or kick off your journey uh, when it comes to uh, the Salesforce ecosystem. With that, I am going to pivot to uh, who's who's up next. Is it uh, Maham, Inam, or Bharat? So before we move to uh, the Trailblazers, I would just like to thank you for really painting the picture for uh, Trailhead and all the impact for us. So we log on to Trailhead. I'm sure everybody logs on there multiple times a week, but having just stepping a bit back and understanding the whole um, the platform, the reason behind it, and how it is impacting the lives of the trailblazers and their families, and how it is being a positive change in their lives is really a humbling thing. And I think we should uh, remind ourselves it 
so we can really understand what we are working towards and what kind of impact it can have on us so thank you very much for really explaining it well and i'm sure the audience would have picked up on bits and they would head over to trailhead whenever they get time thank you very much um, so my pleasure and then i am available on linkedin uh, if you have any questions feel free to reach out sure i'll show you link linkedin profile in a bit thank sure. you again so uh, moving forward we have uh, an excellent panel of trailblazers with us from pakistan who have been making strides in their own personal journeys of salesforce so first i would like to call on maham to come over and share her journey with us and how she found salesforce and where she is at the moment over to you maham all right hello everyone i hope you guys are doing good today i guess today is a very special day because we as a uh, salesforce community from pakistan are getting a chance to exhibit show display and share that what's happening here in terms of um, the salesforce uh, perspective every bit of it i'm so glad that it's happening and uh, let's get started i am maham hassan i am from uh, lahore pakistan let me share my screen and we can just get started from there okay so you guys can see my screen right so right i can show right from here so i am from maham hassan i am from pakistan i am a salesforce application architect slash salesforce jd slash 9x certified and co-founder at cloud one uh, i'm a 2x mom and i'm someone who has loved salesforce since ages now because today i have almost a decade of experience in salesforce you guys can hear the passion and the love and all the enthusiasm within me so today my my approach uh, to share with you guys in terms of my journey is basically to see the areas where you actually have to focus no matter you're an administrator a business analyst a developer an architect there are basically some thumb rules that you have to follow your focus your goal your approach is going to play a very special role in your career development right so there are a couple of phase apart from polishing your skills in terms of uh on the salesforce platform there are some other things that you have to focus on while you are working in salesforce ahana and you are no matter from which background you're coming from there are things that you have to consider so today we're talking about how we can build our resumes our interactive resumes um, not just a word and the pdf but how you can basically build your resume using the trailhead uh how you can connect and interact with people expand your knowledge refine it through signing up in the trailblazer community and third basically we are talking about that how social media in terms of linkedin and twitter is going to help you uh in building your career in polishing your skills and in kind of giving a career boost to you right so it's very very important that we are polishing our skills we are learning but then on the other hand we are exhibiting it in the very very right manner so we'll just get started with how we are going to build our resumes through trailhead so as manish said that trailblazer is a is a fun way it's it's a free way to learn lots of stuff lots lots of stuff so basically i would recommend you guys in terms of what i learned over all these years is basically spend time on trailhead um uh, search for the industry that you're in either you're an admin architect developer whatever your background is try to search the relevant modules super badges projects complete those and showcase those on your trailhead right you got to earn the credentials earn the certifications that's very very important right from you're not just supposed to do your job like you are supposed to do your job in the perfect and excellent manner but then on your personal growth and for your personal skill showcase you have to earn the credentials kind of expand your learning and then you have to make sure that all of it is sitting right on your trailblazer profile as a proof um uh, that is the most i can say it's the most proven resume as of yours that when you're going to share your trailblazer ids uh with your recruiters uh with the one that 
you own the interviews, just share your trailblazer ideas with them. It's very, very important. And then they are going to know that, you know, what your skill set is and how capable you are and what is your learning so far. Because at the moment, you're not just trying to show your how you code and how your, you know, analytical skills are, but your trailblazer is going to uh, give a very, very good picture of that. So I would just say that work on your trailhead, kind of make it beautiful, earn lots of badges and lots of modules, spend at least an hour a day. I would recommend that's something that I recommend to at least the people who, who get in touch with me that what, what are we supposed to do? So I said, okay, apart from getting on YouTube or any other channel, I guess first get official, get your trial head and start decorating it. And then wherever you, whatever you achieve on Trailhead, make sure that you're going to post it either on your Twitter or your Facebook or your LinkedIn. It's very, very important. People need to know that what you're doing. You're not just supposed to keep it to yourself. So even if you're getting a project badge, you're getting a super badge, you're getting a Salesforce credential, post that on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Insta, everywhere. People need to know and you need to tell them that what, what excellence you are achieving. Number two, we are going to talk about Salesforce community. I guess Manir elaborated it so well that I'm not going to uh, repeat all of that, that how Salesforce community is basically playing a very, 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 very major role in <clears throat> kind of exhibiting your skill, your knowledge. You're going to get a lot of it. You're going to share your knowledge and kind of refine it. So join the trailblazer communities they're very very important i mean spend some time on the trailblazer community each day you're going to learn from your trailblazers that's number one because when they ask questions and people and the you know leaders are going to answer that you're going to learn from them you're going to learn that you know what could be the most articulate way to solve a problem right ask a question if you have any questions you can google it go youtube it ask from your team lead all good but then if if nothing's happening, I mean, you need to go ahead and openly and confidently post your question on the Trailblazer community. It's going to help you. Lots of people are going to get for your help and you're going to see that, you know, how people are solving their problems using the Salesforce platform. So that's kind of, that's going to give you a very global idea that how people are basically solving their business problems using Salesforce. Number three, number two, I'm going to say that connect with people, follow each other, join Salesforce group, <clears throat> Salesforce post, uh, Salesforce quest each quarter, you get to make sure that you just kind of complete the quest. Um, and it's just going to kind of make you a very good highlight over in the community. And it's definitely going to help you in boosting your career, boosting your knowledge, of course. And number three, render, share your knowledge. If you see that people are asking questions that you know the answer of, please don't hesitate that either it's right or it's wrong, just answer it. Because even if you give a wrong answer, there are lots of lots of other people who are going to encourage you and going to correct you right at that moment. So I guess they're very kind. I, I have been on the community since long. I am a Trailblazer Answer Leaderboard member. So I know that even if you give a wrong answer, people are there to kind of you know give you a very kind response that maybe not this way, but this way. So all these three steps are going to play a very major role and in kind of giving you a global impact of how Salesforce is indulging at the moment, as well as it's going to help you um, understand, expand, and excel. Uh, number three, you are, what I learned from my experience is that you're going to connect to people, right? As I said, that your network is your net, net worth, guys. And it, it's the absolute truth that you're going to connect to the right people. Make sure that you polish your LinkedIn profiles, you polish your Twitter accounts, you polish your Facebook. Not Facebook, I would say Facebook is more of a personal stuff, but at least your LinkedIn should be bold enough and it should be loud enough to tell that who you are, what have you working on. Make sure that your companies, your experience, the projects that you have worked on, your credentials are all updated on your profiles. It's very, very important, right? And now there are just a couple of things that I learned over, over the time, over my experience that while using the social media platforms, what you have to do and what you not have to do, right? Number one, always make sure that you're going to use your profile picture. Please don't go for avatars. It's, it doesn't look professional. Number two, um, whatever is your display picture on your Facebook, make sure it's there on your Twitter, it's there on your trailhead, it's there on your community. Um, I guess your face is 
going to speak the very first thing about you. So you have to make sure that, you know, you're identical. Your name is identical. Please don't use slangs or username slash something like that. Use your correct full name. It's, it's, it looks very professional to me, at least. Connect to people that while you are connecting to different people on LinkedIn, make sure that you send a note. You know, you got to make sure that people need to know that they know you before you can add them. People don't like that, you know, they don't know me and he's adding me and he's from other side of the world, right? So it doesn't look good. So make sure that you just write a little line that, you know, I know you and I saw this and I kind of like you. So let's get connected. I'm going to learn from you or we're going to share our experiences. Write very meaningful messages. If people are going to get connected to you and you're going to send someone a message. Let's say you need something on Trailhead, on uh, on LinkedIn. Please don't write, hi, how are you? It's not a very, very, it's not an interactive way, basically, to interact with your professional circle. Always make sure that you're writing the complete sentence of why you're interacting with someone. It looks very professional. And believe me, when you write your whole story, writing your message, people basically get back to you because they know that why you're contacting them. And then communicate productively, please. Uh, it's very important um, to be productive, talk productive, and look professional. So make sure that, you know, you're not just sending anyone messages like, hey, you look cute. Please, it doesn't look like we, we know you're cute, but it doesn't look good when someone say on a, on a professional platform to us. Don't. Please don't disrespect anyone's point of view. Um, if you are on LinkedIn, if you are on Trailblazer community, if you're anywhere, anywhere else, if you're on Twitter, if you don't like what people are sharing, please don't disrespect them. Don't use abusive language. Don't say that, okay, you don't know this. Don't do that. Uh, make sure that you're kind. Uh, make sure that you know how to kind of create a bridge, block them, and tell them the right thing. The num number two thing, please don't use slang. Proper grammar. Make sure that, you know, you are exhibiting because on these platforms basically you are doing and showcasing your professionalism and how ethical you could be so make sure that you're not using slang in there don't send irrelevant messages as i said before you look cute hi how are you not such things please make sure that you write why you are messaging someone and contacting someone i'm i'm pretty sure that once you'll do that people will get back to you and most importantly things that you don't like for yourself please don't render it don't render it at all. Be kind, be productive, and boost your career. And that's it from my side. Thank you so much. Uh, I am open on LinkedIn. I'm open on Twitter. I'm open on the Trailhead community. Please let me know if you have any questions ever, and you'll find me right there. Thanks so much for your time. Over to you, Greg. Thank you so much for your time, Maham. And we, all of us could feel your energy and your enthusiasm for Salesforce right from behind the screen. And I really appreciate it that you took the time to put together all of these details. And I think if anybody could take away just one or two things from this, it would be a big change in their, um, how they position themselves in the ecosystem and how everything else works out for them. And I've also shared Maham's LinkedIn, so you can reach out to her if you have any questions, and I'm sure she would be more than happy to help you out. Thank you, Maham. Um, up next, I would like to call Bharat. Uh, to share his journey and anything else he would like to add. So over to you, Bharat. Yeah, sure. Uh, thank you. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. Uh, so I will be sharing my uh, screen so that we can get started. Sure. Uh, could you just confirm if you can see my screen? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so good evening, everyone. Uh, so thank you so much for attending this session uh, on a weekend evening. So I'm Bharat Tumadi and I'm a business analyst. Um, and I'm a Salesforce business analyst and I'm two times certified admin. Uh, I'm just 22 year old uh, from India. I'm a tech evangelist. I love technology and com uh, communities. And I am so much enthusiastic about and excited about open source technology. So I have been advocating open source technologies since three to four years in during my undergraduation. So uh, I'm here to share about my journey in the Salesforce ecosystem. Uh, it's been just one and a half years since I've been in the Salesforce ecosystem, but uh, I think the learnings that I got in this one and a half year is more than what I got uh, in my undergraduation as a whole. So this is how we're going. So I'll just share how I started my journey, uh, my timeline in the Salesforce ecosystem and how one can get started in their uh, Salesforce journey, whether if they're transitioning into Salesforce or this is the first time they're hearing about Salesforce. So this is how I started my journey. I graduated recently uh, in the year 2021 with majors in, com uh, in computer science. Uh, right in my undergraduation, I volunteered for many technical student bodies such as 
ACM Computer Society of India, Associate Com uh, Association of Computer Machinery, which is funded by Microsoft. And I'm also a student advocate for Amazon Web Services Cloud. Uh, so uh, I've been uh, advocating technologies, as I mentioned previously. So I explored a whole, whole lot of domains, such as I explored web development, Android, AI, ML, uh, cloud, and other lot of technologies. And every time I explore uh, them, I am really fascinated by the impact they create on end businesses. So I want to work on a lot of technologies at the same time, but I definitely cannot do that because working on web development completely depends on uh, what working with AI ML feels like. So I always wanted to combine all of these technologies and work on such platform. And I am also curious about business use cases. But I, whenever I work with Android or ML, I did not get to explore the business side of uh, any uh, industry. But when I came to know about Salesforce, that is when I started using my technical knowledge and also the business knowledge that I had. So all of these uh, domains that I explored, whether it be Android, AI, ML, cloud applications, or web technologies, all of them are in Salesforce. Like when we talk about AI and ML, uh, we have Einstein analytics, which is nothing but machine learning and data science behind the screens. And we have experienced cloud, cloud where we can build, build websites. So I, I felt all of these domains are in uh, enclosed within Salesforce itself. And then uh, that's how I started learning Salesforce. So it is a weird story how I got to know about Salesforce. So back in pandemic, uh, one of my neighbor is working as a, a business uh, lead generation uh, analyst in one of the company. So she came to my home uh, she wanted to work from my laptop and then she logged into her Salesforce instance. So their company basically used part out and marketing cloud to uh, all to run this marketing campaigns. And that's that's when she logged into a Salesforce instance and then she forgot to log out. So then I asked her uh, like to check uh, what it is and then I saw what Salesforce is. I saw what the platform has to offer to the business and I started exploring Salesforce. So immediately I went to the university, my university in which I was studying in back then. And I asked a lot of my professors and associate professors about what Salesforce is. Can you help me with that? Like how do I get started in everything? But none of them told me what Salesforce is because they themselves don't know. Uh, they, they were uh, like too focused on Java or other programming languages or other technologies. I'm not offending it, but they were not aware of the Salesforce ecosystem. So, but uh, that stopped me from learning uh, Salesforce because I thought uh, learning through institutes is the only way to learn Salesforce. But a few months down the lane, I heard about something called as Trailhead. And then I started learning Trailhead. And then I started working with uh, Accenture, which is also a Salesforce uh, partner, uh, consulting partner. I started working as an associate software engineer uh, in the, on the Salesforce platform with Accenture itself. So right from uh, working with Accenture as a Salesforce uh, engineer, I got to learn a lot of uh, ups and downs of the Salesforce ecosystem. There are a lot of things that Salesforce can do to the business. And I'm really excited by the way that Salesforce uh, is offering businesses, uh, offering the solution to businesses. One thing that, uh, that I'm really excited about Salesforce is the community first approach. Uh, as I mentioned, I love communities. I love tech communities and I love volunteering them. And Salesforce, uh, uh, like the community is the center of the Salesforce ecosystem as uh, Munir and Maham also mentioned that uh, Trailblazer community is the heart of the uh, Salesforce ecosystem. Without Trailblazers, I don't uh, really think uh, the, the Salesforce ecos ecosystem is not expanding these days. So this is what uh, made Salesforce closer to my heart and I started exploring Salesforce and I thought this is what I wanted to do in a long term. I wanted to work on Salesforce domain and then I started to diverse my knowledge in the Salesforce domain. So it's been a hell lot of things uh, from then. So these are the few resources that helped me uh, to get through, uh, to gain some knowledge and uh, to reach out to people and other things. So one of them is community events. So right after I started my journey in the Salesforce ecosystem, I attended a lot of community meetups. So I made a goal of attending at least one to two community meetups every weekend on Saturdays and Sundays. And I met amazing people uh, from Salesforce ecosystem, uh, from Salesforce consultants, Salesforce MVPs, Salesforce technical architects, two people working in the Salesforce ecosystem, uh, who are director of uh, director of Salesforce communities and developer advocates at Salesforce. Uh, community events have helped me a lot, and also you can see I'm wearing a Pakistan Dream and T-shirt, which is from our first season, uh, that is 2021. So I attended as a volunteer last year, and this time I'm speaking, sharing my journey with you all. That is that's the magic that the community events has done to me. And there are tons of blogs and YouTube videos other than uh, Trailhead and other than paid courses that we can see on websites. And there are also Trailhead programs that are offered by Salesforce itself, such as Salesforce Fundamentals, Journey to Salesforce, 
and uh, there are also uh, trainings and programs that are offered by Salesforce partners. Like uh, one of them is Talent Stacker, which is a five-day challenge. And then we do have something called as Click, which is a profit organization, a non-profit organization, which helps people build Salesforce skills with sprints and challenges. So these are some of the resources that I use it uh, during the past one and a half year to two years in my uh, to boost my Salesforce uh, resume or to boost my Salesforce skills. And then this is what my timeline looked like uh, in the Salesforce ecosystem uh, from 2020 to 2022. This is what uh, it has all been clearing my first Salesforce certification to clearing my uh, getting two jobs in the Salesforce ecosystem. And uh, I got two different jobs and I also have four to five uh, jobs still in hand. I still have people re re reaching out to me on LinkedIn and other places telling that they have open opportunities all just because of Salesforce community. So uh, the magic that can that a Salesforce community can do to you is uh, not, not something measurable or uh, can be told in just five to ten minutes of a session. So this is what all of my journey has been in the past few uh, two years. Uh, if you wanted, if someone asked me how do I start it all over again, uh, the first mistake that I did was not focus much on trade because I told uh, in the first days, like in the initial days, I thought uh, going to some institute uh, just like other programming languages or other technologies is the only way to learn Salesforce. But I was wrong back then. I realized it lately. So we, we don't need any training institutes. But if we have any, that is an add-on. But going on to trailhead.com uh, is one of the best places uh, you can definitely uh, you know, go to. Uh, trailhead is definitely a uh, go-to place for anything related to Salesforce. That is where you can learn about what Salesforce is, what it has to offer, and what is the product suit. And then uh, Trailblazer community, obviously, uh, when you wanted to learn something beyond your full-time job or when you want to get some hands-on experience because people face problems and you try to solve them in the form of questions and answers on the Trailblazer community. And then local community groups, meetups, and conferences. And one of the mistakes that I did in my initial days was learn, not learning in public. I was restricted to myself by learning. I did not. I was not active on LinkedIn, Twitter, or any other platforms uh, where there are potential people, potential employers who can help me get a job, or potential people who can help me grow in my career. That was a mistake that I did. So learning in public is one thing that uh, I would definitely stress upon for someone starting out the journey in this ecosystem. So by learning in public, I mean to stay active on LinkedIn and Twitter, network with people, engage with the content, create value, add value to other people's life. And that will make your life easier at the end of the day. Build as you learn. So make pet projects as you go. Uh, don't just uh, focus on to uh, like go in a rabbit hole of watching videos continuously or going through tons and tons of blogs continuously. That doesn't help you on a long term. So build as you uh, learn. So try to create pet projects. Uh, like we do have this trailblazer uh, so trail uh, trailhead uh, org uh, free uh, developer edition so try to build pet projects in that document your journey write blogs about what you're doing and always uh, keep networking uh, and keep trailblazing so that this is what uh, all of my journey has been so uh, you can connect with me on linkedin or twitter if you have any doubts or if you're open if you're looking for some mentorship or some guidance in the ecosystem i'm always ready to help to uh, any one of you who reaches out to me thank you Thank you, Bharat, for sharing your story with us. Um, I'm super impressed and proud of the progress you have made so far. And even starting out so early, uh, as you mentioned, you just got graduated and finding your way through the community. And what I appreciate the most is that you did mention what went right for you, but you also had the courage to mention what didn't you know what didn't you do right in the start. And you are willing and open to share with everybody else so they can leverage that early on. So I really appreciate you. And I've shared uh, Bharat's LinkedIn profile in the chat. You definitely need to watch out for Bharat because he's going places. Uh, thank you, Bharat, again. Um, now I'd like to move forward to Inam to share his journey. Thank you, Inam, for waiting patiently. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me share my screen. Please confirm me when you see. Now you can see the screen? Uh, yes, it obviously. Yes, yes there. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, welcome to you all uh, in this uh, event. And uh, my name is Inam Mullah Khan, and uh, my details is that I have done my two certifications. 
and my complete details are available at my LinkedIn. Uh, today I uh, attend a lot of sessions uh, and try to get a lot of uh, learning of Salesforce. And uh, I want to uh, include that uh, why our sessions are different from all the sessions because in all the sessions you will going to learn about Salesforce, but this session you're going to decide how to join either or not to salesforce so we are sitting here to tell you our journeys to confirm you that if you can join the salesforce you are in the safe hand so uh, i start my journey uh, lots of people start the journey with the motivation with the positive mindset other fresher or trying to divert its uh, their uh, journey plan. But uh, unfortunately, I started my uh, Salesforce journey with the failure. Why? Because uh, I have uh, around 12 to 13 years of experience in different industries, which includes banking, which includes international shipping, which includes textiles. But I decided to come back to the technology because I've done my BS honors. So I tried to move my uh, industry toward IT. With that, I came to know some of the people who are already working in Salesforce. They got uh, contacted me. Uh, at that moment, I didn't know about the Salesforce. But they contacted me, keeping in mind that I have done the BS honors. So they utilized my skills uh, around just two weeks with that they realized that i can't fit in so they just rejected me yes they just rejected me a person with the having a 12 to 13 years experience they said you are outdated you can't work in salesforce so that is the moment i decided to come back and decided to invest my time my money in salesforce to learn at that moment I started learning and searching about Salesforce and it is not a, bit, a long time. It's just around 18 months, 18 months before I have decided to go and learn Salesforce. And with that, I started searching uh, different uh, channels, uh, trailhead and uh, lots of things during my learning. Uh, I've stand, uh, able to got a chance to attend the last year's session of the Park Dreamin, where I got a lot of information from different mentors. Over there, I decided to just not only uh, depend upon the uh, trailhead, I will just also focus on the certain mentors and want to go to certain institute. So in that manner, I was uh, uh, able to find an institute that is in Australia, a very uh, high qualified uh, uh, mentor I found in the Salesforce. He's a first uh, architect, uh, first uh, considered to be the first architect in the first 900 people. I got a chance to connect with him and I paid the money in dollars to learn the Salesforce. He guided me to how to learn from the Salesforce from the admin level. From there, I started learning and gaining the knowledge and practicing on uh, Trailhead to get the maximum badges. After a couple of months, I decided to start communicate with the Trailhead community. Uh, Trailhead, just uh, my uh, seniors just told, uh, presented uh, a while ago. I started communicating with the Trailhead community. I also um, I make my uh, rebrand my LinkedIn account with the Salesforce and start connecting with the people. From there, uh, the, the motivation level start boosting in me. After three months, during my learning of uh, my trailhead and Salesforce, I got the company who contacted me and offered me a job after my three months of learning. And that is not a local company. It's a Ukraine company who contacted me and offered me a remote job. But my seniors told me to just focus on your studies, try to complete your certification, then proceed toward the other ambits. So in the same way, I keep on learning and trying to capitalize my hands-on experience 
by getting more and more badges, by completing more and more super badges. So the same way, finally the day has come, which is the 20th of Feb, where I got my first certification, which is Salesforce Administration. And keep on after that, this is not the end. I'm keep on learning and gaining and connecting with the people to make myself more a prominent figure in the Salesforce ecosystem. My dear friends, my audience, believe me, the way I put my efforts in it, it pay me back. I got my, I done my first certification 20th of Feb and my first job is 18th of March. Within a month, I got a job from a US based company and now I'm working with them. That is the, uh, you can say the beauty of Salesforce. The, as I mentioned, my, my point is why I switch my career to Salesforce? Because Salesforce has a pure dynamic. It's a pure CRM, customer relation management. You can see a person with zero experience of IT and now is sitting in front of you as a Salesforce developer and admin. This is the beauty of Salesforce. Salesforce encourages the person who try to learn the skills, who try to gain the skills, who try to invest his time in the Salesforce. So that's why I choose Salesforce. And as I mentioned earlier that how I learned the Salesforce, similarly to Trailhead, to, uh, connect with the Trailhead community, work at the LinkedIn, build up your community. Believe me, uh, when I created my account at LinkedIn, nobody knows me. And after a one year, you can say a little bit more of one year, now I have a more than 2000 followers which are pure Salesforce newbies and Salesforce seniors. So I am learning, gaining and spreading my knowledge in the Salesforce. And that is the main mantra of the journey. So if you make your mind to divert your towards Salesforce, so there is a chance, there's a time, and this is the right place to jump in because as the, uh, the, uh, the Park Dreamer is doing this and the other events are doing in sale of Salesforce, they are promoting the audience. There are a lot of companies who are just investing their employees to get them trained because uh, there's a lot of demand of Salesforce person in Pakistan. So I'm keep on learning with my performance, the company allow me to go for another certifications. And the next, in the last month, I able to get my second certification. So that is the belief that company has on me just because of my performance at Salesforce. And, and this is can't be done without only me. This is the, this has to be done with the support of the Salesforce community, with the support of the Salesforce community available in LinkedIn, with the support of Salesforce community available at Park Dreaming. So, this is the time you can go and move towards Salesforce because the I mean, next six, seven years or more than that, the Salesforce is at it will be at its peak. So my last point, which is about the career progression. So it is the career progression because there is no any kind of end in Salesforce. You done admin. There is another step, app builder or business analysis analyst or PD one. So you have to keep learning and gaining and keep forwarding and keep moving. The way you learn, the way you get certified, you the way then you more get highlighted. So this is the main thing which I make my mind when I got rejected by the people by saying that you can't do this, you don't have that kind of quality or skills. So I have created that skills by spending the time at trailhead around two to three hours on a daily basis consistently it's not an easy task i do used to learn a lot of other things i used to communicate a, a lot of other people I keep on be keeping on making the hands-on practices so my friends if you want to attain something you have to be 
mad for yourself because you are the one who can make your journey. Nobody is here to put your hand and take off. You have the you are the person who has to do this. So this is the whole story of me that from where I started and now where I am and I'm keep positive, keep motivated and keep learning to go higher and higher and higher. This is all from my side. Thank you, Anam. Excellent journey so far. Um, we usually get to hear that rejection is redirection, but I, I believe it's not it's not easy to um, be at the brunt of it or you know being rejected or just going through it's not easy. But and everybody has two choices at that point just to give up or turn it into something positive and you made the harder choice but it paid you off well and i see you progressing more so thank you very much for being um for sharing your journey with us it's not easy to be vulnerable vulnerable about your you know talk about rejections or anything of these sorts but this does help um the community to understand that they are not alone in whatever they're going through so if somebody out there you know is going through the same thing now they can look at you and say if an arm can do it i can do it too so thank you for sharing your journey Anam, with us thank you. um thank you. thank you and before we move on to the raffle i will just uh, like to thank all of you again uh, munir maham bharat and Anam, for joining us over a weekend it was an excellent session um it's been so fruitful for the audience as well. We have been seeing um, the audience helping each other out, being motivated and inspired by all of you. So I hope you continue to do what you're doing. And thank you for joining us.